Hello, Libra. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I'm going to be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of November 2019. Uh, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, I want to say welcome. And I want to invite you to subscribe because I do do these readings each and every month. And I would love to share your money message with you. Uh, for those of you who are interested in private readings, those are available. I will have the link for that down in the description. And I think that is it. Oh, for this month, I'm going to be using my Spellcaster's Tarot for the readings. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck, and then I will end your reading with a Chakra Intuition Oracle card. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, I want to let you know that I do read jumper cards. I always get a lot of questions about that in my, um, you know, in my readings. But yes, I do read jumper cards or sometimes you'll see cards will flip over during the reading. And those are the cards that I choose to read because I believe that those cards want to communicate a message. And so I do um, read jumper cards. So let's go ahead and get started. So what do we need to know for the sign of Libra <laughs> as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of November 2019? What do we need to know for the sign of Libra? As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of November 2019. What do we need to know for the sign of Libra? Let's see. Okay, so Libra, you've got a lot going on. Um, there's a lot going on with you, like you've been thinking about a lot of stuff, okay? Like I, I'm feeling like you've been, you've been having um, a, lot of, a lot of thoughts running through your head. It's like you're trying to make decisions. You're trying to get everything done. And I feel like you're in this, it's almost like you're trying to cram everything in before the end of the year. We have the Temperance card upright. We also have the King of Swords upright. Nine of Wands upright, and then we have Justice. Interesting. She's in the reverse, and then we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Now, the Temperance card is an interesting card that showed up first because this tells me that while you do have some things that are like balanced in your life, you also have some areas that may feel a little out of sorts. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with that underlying mental energy. Uh, the Knight of Swords is all about really focusing on the necessities, really taking charge of what needs to be done and getting it done and not wasting any time with, you know, things that are just distractions or things that are getting in the way. Now, as this relates to your money, it tells me that, you know, while you may have stability in certain areas as it relates to finance and work, you may have some areas that are really just kind of all over the place and maybe are just not exactly how you want them to be. That's what I'm feeling with this nine of wands here. It's almost like you're, it's like you're stressed about money, but you don't really need to be because the bills are paid, but at the same time, you're not seeing any progress or growth from all the work that you've put in you know, throughout the past year. And I also feel like you're, you're feeling like um, a little frustrated in some areas too, because you had these expectations of things happening as it relates to your money and work that just are not coming through. Or maybe they're not coming through in the time that you wanted or in the way that you wanted. Now we have this justice card here and 
you know, she's all about things being fair, but sometimes, you know, the reality of life is that we, some of us just end up getting the short end of the stick, right? You know, sometimes things just don't happen for us and it's just unfortunately the luck of the draw. It's the way things, you know, the way the cookie crumbles, so to speak. And so you've kind of gone through a period of that. And so now you're just trying to figure out what next. You know, November is is kind of a, a, a period where you just kind of ask what next? You know, what more do I need to do? What do I need to change? What needs to be different? What needs to stay the same? You know, what areas need attention? what areas don't need attention right now and you're really going through a lot of these questions uh, mentally you know and sometimes they can be a little bit confusing and a little bit overwhelming now we also have the two of cups in the reverse here this tells me that there could be in the first week of november there could be a separation of some sort all right but because it's in the reverse it's only temporary so i don't know if it could be a personal relationship or if it could be a work work relationship maybe a partnership um, maybe just somebody deciding to do their own thing for a little while uh, maybe it's you deciding that maybe you don't want to do this with this person maybe you want to partner with this person um, but there is going to be a temporary separation and that's happening in the first week of November All right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Libra as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of November 2019. I feel like I need one more card for Libra, please. What else do we need to know for the sign of Libra? Okay. Okay, so we have the star card in reverse. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Ace of Cups upright. Hmm, we also have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have the star card here. And this is in the reverse position. Now, sometimes the star card can literally mean attention, star, fame, celebrity, that type of thing. You know, uh, being in the spotlight. But the star card also could mean uh, things as it relates to health. Usually when I see the star card, it comes up a lot when I do uh, readings for people who have medical or health related questions. And so the star card could be, um, as it relates to your money, is that there could be some things in your money health that need attention right now, Libra, right? So it could be maybe you need a budget. Maybe you need to figure things out. Maybe you've been overspending here and you need to cut back. Maybe you need to pay off some debt. But I'm seeing that this is attention needs to be paid to something as it relates to your money. And it really makes itself apparent in that second week of November. There is something that you haven't been giving a lot of attention to. Something that has not been a priority. That has not been the main focus. And you need to make it the main focus. Now we also have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This tells me that things are going to change rather quickly. Now, whether or not things change for a positive or, or in a positive or a negative way, um, it, it all depends on the circumstance and the situation. Sometimes when things turn or things change very quickly, initially it's a little bit unsettling. But then as time progresses, you see, oh, wow, that was a very, very good change. And I'm glad that that happened. So that's what I'm feeling like you're going to be going through in that second week of November. It's like you're going to see that something needs to change. You're going to make that change. And then it's going to benefit you later on. Because you're right next to the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is a positive card. And it's all about a new creation, a new cycle, a new start. Um, it's flow. It's love. It's just joy. And it's something where it really is um, leveling up that next, next experience for you. It could also literally mean your cup is running, runneth over, <laughs> you know, for money or for some type of wealth or some type of finances. So I do see that once you kind of pay attention to these things, it's definitely going to pay off for you in a very big way.
Now we have the Knight of Cups here in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Remember, the Knights are all about that movement, that energy. This tells me that things could slow down a little bit for you as we move into the middle of November, especially as it relates to your money, but you're going to be prepared for it. Remember, the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about, you know, being meticulous with her money. She knows where things are going. She knows, you know, okay, this is covered. I have money set aside for this. She's very much prepared for financially. And so once you kind of pay attention to whatever this is, it's going to really set you up in the right way. And you're going to be prepared and you're going to feel comfortable and you're going to feel content with some of the decisions and some of the changes that you made. So let's go ahead and get some more clarity on this for you, Libra. Mm -hmm. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Libra as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of November 2019? What do we need to know for the sign of Libra? Oh, nice. What do we need to know for the sign of Libra as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of November 2019? Okay. Libra. So like I said here, when you are prepared for whatever the circumstances are in November, you're going to be prepared and you're going to be really glad that you are prepared. Okay, I just saw that my battery <laughs> was running low, so I went to go plug in my camera. But uh, like I said, as we are moving into that third week of November and you are seeing that you are prepared, you really have things set up for you in a good way. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Now, this is a card about lavish abundance. This is a card about, um, you know, really enjoying the fruits of your labor. And I do see that happening for you as we move into that third week of November. We also have the Ace of Cups again. Now remember, we have the Ace of Cups here and we have the Ace of Cups here. This one is in reverse though. So this tells me that while you still may be enjoying that new cycle, things are definitely going to probably slow down and probably feel like maybe a little overwhelming and a little challenging at times because this is going to be a very busy period for the month, especially for those of us here in the United States because we have the holidays. So you're going to be feeling just a tad bit overwhelmed, especially when it comes to finances, but just trust that you're going to be okay because you did the work to be prepared earlier in the month. Now we also have the seven of cups here, which means you're not going to have a whole lot of choices and a whole lot of options as it relates to money, finances, work, business, career, but that's okay because you're going to be, you're going to be, it's like you're going to be okay with the things as they are now, knowing that you can change them later on. I'm feeling like uh, Libra it's like you're not exactly 100% content with your circumstances, but it doesn't mean that you're not, um, you're not disengaged from the potential of how things could be in the future. It's just that right now you're choosing to kind of remain settled and you're just kind of laying low for a little bit during this period of time because you know as we move into the new year, you're going to make some big changes. And that's what I see here with this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles is all about collaborations and partnerships, but I don't see it happening now. I see maybe uh, you're thinking about it and you're considering it, but nothing is happening right now. It's like things are kind of temporarily on hold, and you're totally okay with that, especially for right now. Okay, so what else do we need to know? For the sign of Libra, as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of November 
2019. What do we need to know for the sign of Libra as it relates to money? Well, finances, prosperity, and abundance. Okay. All right, Libra. So you are going to be feeling a little, almost a little like you kind of let yourself down, right? Because now here we are at the end of the year and you're feeling like, well, I'm not exactly where I, I had expected myself to be as it relates to money and work. However, it's not all that bad, but it's not as good as I wanted it to be or I had planned or expected it to be. But it's okay because we do have a brand new connection or a brand new partnership coming your way towards the end of the month. And this is going to be something that definitely takes you in a new direction. Uh, the Page of Swords here is all about messages. So this new partnership, it could be personal or it could be work. But I have a feeling it could be more work related because it is going to be affecting your income in some way. It's going to... It's going to make you kind of rethink some things. It's almost going to make you change the way you've been doing something for so long. And now you're like, huh, maybe I can do this in a different way. Maybe I can do this bigger, better, faster, stronger, whatever. And it's going to challenge you. It's going to challenge you to think a little bit differently. Now, this is not a bad thing, but it's going to be really uncomfortable. And it's going to happen very quickly because remember, the Knight of Swords, the Knight cards are all about that swift energy moving in moving out things happening quickly and you having to take action so you are going to feel uncomfortable just a tiny bit but just trust that this is really taking you your money your business and your work to a whole new level all right libra let's go ahead and end your reading with a chakra intuition oracle card Okay, so we got no, card number 42, third eye, and this one is playground. Hmm, interesting. Now, this kind of reiterates what we were talking about as far as this last week of November, where you're going to have to trust that you're going to have to probably do something a little different, something that you're not expecting, but you're going to have fun with it. You know, it's, it's a safe time and a safe place for you to experiment with something new. And trusting with the inner guidance that you may be receiving, you know, and trusting that you are following through on your intentions to create something wonderful and something magical for yourself, for your family, and for your business, and for your money. So let me know your thoughts on this, Libra. I'm really curious to read what you guys think. I love to hear your guys' input. So Libra, that is your reading for November 2019. I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you are interested in a private reading, those are available and I will have the link to get more information down below. All right, Libra, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.